whoa, 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 109 bubble rush about to double. <laughs> yeah. All right, re-entering. So we we're going to show with tens. Nice, nice, nice. So this is uh, 11 spot, 12 spots out of the money. Everybody only has whatever amount of big blinds max. Yeah, that's my humor. Sorry, sometimes hard to know what goes and what doesn't. Yeah, I just don't like. There's no. You have to understand. You're like your crowd. Like that joke is so much different if you're with like friends or something. You're drinking beer. It's already so much different than when you're in a room. Hey, you're in the money here. Bubble rush. I mean, anything can change a fucking day. 5k score sure can. Nice. What is my average buy in for a day? Um, on a Sunday, six and a half thousand, pretty much every Sunday. Six and a half, seven thousand throughout the week. Uh, also, really high. Can't give you exact, but it's like 4k at least, and then on Thursday, like five and a half. It's fucking crazy lately, man. Yo, Crispy, give to the sub to the Mezu. Thank you so much, Crispy. Fucking awesome, brother. Bad at all. Come on. Nice laugh. Um, easy call here. Come on. Ace. Dear Lord. Alright, so 10 out of 12, so this is the longest final table. It's not really a bubble, but it's, you know. Yeah, I'm gonna go to 1080. I just didn't want to do the test stream on 1080, so. Alright, so we're gonna 3 bet and call all ins when they come. Really awesome hand for this, of course. One of the best hands in poker. Still chipping up quite nicely. Getting really good hands as well. If he goes all in, we're gonna insta call. Alright, we got kings here. That's only a million. Cheer it away. I won a king fourth in the last couple weeks. Trending to plus EV. Wow, nice, pal. That was great to hear, buddy. Alright, let's try the smallest bet the world has ever seen. Oh. So that was the Sunny Million. Center of Lionel and Kings Resist. Um, I think I'm gonna call if he does the river. Because he has way more, like, a, even two pair of value betting flushes he just raises the flop with. Almost always, I would say. Check it down. Ooh, it's nice. It's nice. It's nice. What a turn! Stars nuts. Fourth out of eleven. Close to another sway, man. The last one I busted in seventh. The very first spot to go out. Huge flip. Yeah. We're just gonna bet folds. I like a good strong bet here. Like, if I also bet the size... Oh, fuck, a heart would have been so nice. If I also bet the size, it's gonna be very hard for him to get folds. 
This coffee's a lot better than what I made earlier. Still a little bit weak. Shows, then obviously we just fold. Uh, if he bluffs us there, it's still a big move for him to make, especially at this part of the tournament. Like, I don't know. I feel really good about how we're playing here. Uh, so we're gonna raise this on a button. Very good raising material. And over here we raise pre-flop. We check the flop behind. Very important bet big now. Straight on board. Oh, there we go. Big hand. Give him an underpair, please. There you go, there you go. Oi, laddie. Oh man, there we go. Second sway of the day. Oh yes, okay, so we're ninth. 450, 5500 up top. Woo! Come on! Holy shit, what a punt. Fuck yes, come on man, we'll just fucking do it! This guy's like, yeah! Come on, let's do it. Not playing on a Sunday? Bro, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I said I was gonna register it today, so. Wow, <laughs> what the fuck's happening here? Alright, it's another ladder! This is what we wanna do! We want a fucking ladder during Sway! Sorry. Not gonna fuck around too hard. We need at least some decent blocker or something, but we can definitely put a lot of pressure here with this guy that short. We're just gonna three bets all day. Firefo is a really good player though. But I don't think that these guys will respect the ICM enough, so like this guy really shouldn't be opening too often here. You might think, well, it's on the bubble though, but we're on the button, but we're immediately gonna make it known to him what happens when he does that. But he could have a good hand, of course, too, so we'll just see what happens. And so, I mean, you could almost think that if he raises now, he's flat. Because I don't want to start bluffing with this hand, because he's going to think I have so much weaker. I don't know. This is also just fucking crazy. I'm just going to flat here. Like, at this stage, it should be so fucking strong. Gotta be 
really careful here. I really hope he checks it down. This guy just busted, so we are last six now, and we're still in first. So we make 11:50 now. It's starting to look like something. Isn't the tens flat? Yeah, the three bets is insanely bad. Like it's pretty crazy how bad the three betting is. Uh, so now we have these two guys, but they're not necessarily super short, right? It's 25 big blinds, a little over 30 big blinds. So nothing much where you say like, oh yeah. Um, the only two people you can really pressure with my stack is one of the other guys, like this guy or something. But we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. This king though. Yo, thank you for the host, be Paris. What up, man? I'm sorry that the notifications ain't coming through, but show B Paris some love. Sick ass fucking grinder. Thank you so much, dude. I hope your session is going decently. Big chance is gonna 4 by 2 though, here. Gonna start calling flop. Which way did he go? We would also do this with like jacks and tens and stuff. There's definitely some hands, uh, some queens as well. Like if we threw better hand like queen nine. Uh, there's also a percentage of the time we do it with ace and kings. Still though, my range looks reasonably weak. Really too bad. Really sad that he didn't 3 bet uh, or 4 bet pre flop. That could have been a very good spot. We're doing good in stack. It's just 3 really big stacks of 4 actually. One big pot. Crush his shit. Thank you, Crispy. Scarps, thank you for subbing, man. Welcome. You should be pretty scared that I have uh, Queen X here. If you bet, I have the easiest folds. It's not a good run out for me, but who knows. Just check, bro. He's not gonna check, is he? All right, so our shower fully engaged. We have to fold here. So we're gonna call twice on the side. And this is pretty insane. Insane run. Okay. Oh. That is interesting. Easy call, really, on the turn here. Really hope that we can hit some routes. Might still slow him down. <sighs> Fucking Twilight Zone. Okay. What the fucking hell is going on? Holy shit.
Presidente, thank you for the three months resub. Please wake up. Yes. Yes. Oh, it's looking like a call. Oh. Five. Jesus Christ. Worst case scenario, these guys keep doubling. Alright, so we have queens. We're six out of six now. Pretty much not doing anything. Root Faith. What up, man? How have you been doing, buddy? Hope that he just jams in eights or something. That's too bad. It would be so nice if we can go to 500. We can just reverse it on everybody, pretty much. Good luck, Lex. Ship this final table regarding Rage Edge. Would you recommend the Apprentice or straight to Masterclass for online entities up to say 55? If 55 is your regular buy-in, then just go straight up to the Masterclass. I would say. Yep. And now the question is, are we gonna get called immediately? Nice. Nice! Nice! Anything can happen still. We're gonna show up here, 20 big lines, so 3 is very standard, so let's hope we get through. Nice. We're gonna need to show up, this guy's still gonna open a lot, he doesn't expect any, any craziness from these two. Um, he doesn't mind playing him in position. Like he's also been doing really well in pots against him. So this is definitely a shove spot. Classic. Come on, please. Yes, that's awesome. What a moment. Let's get lucky. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Third out of six. Woo! Let's see. If somebody raises, we're gonna fall, but definitely gonna raise ourselves. Or a jack would be nice. There's absolutely no point in betting the. Absolutely no point in betting the, uh, the turn or the flop. I'm gonna play this A6 very slow. As in, slow play. <laughs> I'm gonna check race. I'm gonna bet small. I expect this guy to check race quite a bit to like 70k. Um, he has it in his arsenal, and then I have the best hand to just go all in with. So. I think it's a big mistake to not bet this flop. Just because of our stack size, we're really deep. He can really afford to just check raise bluff to like 78, whatever. So I feel like this is just perfect for me. It's gonna be really hard for him to just call, right? When I uh, shove it. So... Good spot for me here. Really nice, really nice. That worked out. So like sometimes you think like I don't want to bet because I could get check raised, and now we bet exactly because we wanted to get check raised. Uh, raising deuces here. I think that we're gonna get a lot of falls. So when I raise under the gun, I don't necessarily think these two guys are gonna want to fuck with me. I really hope he doesn't shove. We're just gonna bet. Like I just hope for really quick, easy folds. I think if I check here, then I kind of lose the 
lose it here. I also don't think this guy is going to check raise an 8 9 all in, which would happen if I raise from the button. That's really advantageous for me. I feel like my hand is almost as powerful as an all in there. That does wonders for me, right? Holy shit. Yo, CR5, thank you for the five months. Alright, so never mind. So we're going to check call to call here. I think that leading is a really good spot here. I mean, I legit only lose the queen nine, and that would be just out of this world. So, yes. So sick, nice. Oh, he has to fold it too. Holy fuck, I didn't even consider the chop. What the hell? <sighs> nice, we're first on six, boys. The grind. So nice, Mirta can do whatever she wants downstairs in this apartment. This apartment is just big enough. Six, eight, eight, six. There it is. Number six out. Venga out. Well, it's been a while, and now we still have two shorties here. So this is really good. Really advantageous spot. God, I think I'm gonna fold if he check raises on. Oh, that always hurts when it happens then. See, but this is the kind of stuff like he's just folding everything that's like that like i make i make so much more money by just peeling the river and then i don't even get bluffed off my showdown value when i don't hit because if i check this turn then it just automatically seems like i have a, i have a i have a spade and i was betting a spade so even if people hit with a high spade to hit the river they're just gonna wait for me to check and if they don't hit it or they wait for me to bet and if they don't hit it then they're gonna be too afraid to bluff at it because i checked the turn and they don't represent something strong so Oh, that's too bad. I think that checking back here is the best play. If I bet that turn, I look so fucking strong. I just, just fold out everything that can bluff. It's so easy for them to play against my hands. It's also a very bad spot to barrel. So if i ever going to check some hands through, then it might as well be trips with a bad kicker, right? So I like the way I played it, but I think it's really good balance to check the turn there. And balance is in like not so much like who cares about balancing in a five-handed final table spot, but more so about like who cares about balancing uh, when your ranges make sense, and that's just super important there. If you look cash on the side. Stop suggesting that, Upsky. You do that a lot, but like I play whatever I want. Like I'm in the zone. Why would I play a high variance game on the side? I'm playing really well right now, and I want to keep it that way. Spideru. Donger Lord, welcome back. Thank you for subbing again. Really appreciate it, man. Alright, it's easy show. Uh, even if they shove, I'm still gonna call because they really should shove like 8s and 7s and all that shit here. Because this guy is just gonna take the spot a lot. I'm the stack that has the most to lose, so to say, so. Um, but also, I'm not gonna flat the slow play. Just, chips are insanely valuable for me now. Tim Thompson, to give this up to Lord Flexer. Welcome. Thank you. This is too insane. It's too insane. It's too insane. Queens vs. King. The only guy who covers me, pretty much. Yeah, the only guy who covers me by a mile. 3 bet me was 7 8 fucking off suit before. Gets aces. It's so crazy. 